morning youtube world and welcome to my voiceover and my morning routine conveniently for me today was daylight savings so i woke up quite a bit earlier than i would have which was really good for this video so i woke up around 9 30 and then i finally decided to start filming at around 10 a.m i started by going on my phone i go on my phone for like one to two hours honestly every morning until i'm like i must get up and eat food now i'm a fraud i don't normally make my beard because i spend the day getting in and out of my beard but because I was getting up and it was a gloomy day, I decided that it would be a good habit to just make it and have my room nice and clean. Usually when I go downstairs on a weekday, my mum will be studying. Luckily today was a Sunday, so she wasn't down there, but I like to put earpods in and either listen to music or watch some TV while I'm making my breakfast. This morning, I decided it was gonna be sad girl vibes and I was listening to some sleeping at last. We can actually keep our toaster in the cupboard because it clutters up the bench area. So I had to grab that out as I was going to be making a bagel for breakfast. This morning I decided I was going to be boring and just have some butter on my bagel. Usually I will boil an egg or I actually bought some hash browns last time I was at the supermarket that I haven't used yet, which were to go along with the bagels, but I haven't bothered cooking any. It was at this point in time I realized I could not get my caffeine fixed for the morning because I did not put any Pepsi in the fridge the night before. However, I had some leftover juice, so I poured myself a glass of that instead. Often when I'm eating, I will scroll through my phone, watch some YouTube videos, watch some TV, or just listen to some music. And time to put the toaster away. Straight after breakfast, I like to go upstairs and wash my face, brush my teeth, all the normal things that you do in the morning, so I went into the bathroom. At the moment, my morning cleanser is the Hyaluronic Acid Cleanser from The Inky List. I really like this because it makes my face feel nice and clean and fresh and it's not overly stripping. In the morning, I only like to do one cleanse, whereas at night, I will do a double cleanse. I will then gently wipe this off with a face cloth and proceed to brush my teeth while my face is drying before I put all my other skincare products on. I like to do the rest of my skincare routine back in my room at my desk because my desk is sitting right in front of the sun. I have a little makeup mirror. I have all of my products laid out in front of me. And I also like to go onto my computer and watch some Grey's Anatomy. I'm on season 14, which is pretty impressive considering I started less than a month ago. But that also shows that I kind of have no life. I have this cool little headband that I got from Sephora that I like to put on when I'm doing my skincare and makeup because it keeps all of my hair out of my face and it's really convenient. Here's my cute little hair care and skincare basket that I keep on my desk. I got this from Kmart and I absolutely love it because it has all the products that I use daily in it. 
Starting off with my skincare, I'm using the Paula's Choice BHA Liquid Exfoliant. As you know, everybody online raves about this. I actually started following the instructions of using this one to two times a day. It absolutely ruined my skin barrier. Do not do this. So now I'm using it once a week and I am yet to see some results. Next up, I am using Niacinamide from The Ordinary. I'm actually nearly out of my bottle, so I should probably go and buy more. I'm like on the last few drops in this video. I didn't realize till after I filmed this that I actually forgot my eye cream. However, it's not that important in my skincare routine. So I moved on to my moisturizer, which is the CeraVe Facial Moisturizing Lotion for AM, which has SPF in it, so I don't have to put sunscreen on as well. I also have really dry lips, and I love Vaseline. I use this as a lip balm, and it is honestly amazing. I don't often wear makeup daily. I usually only wear it when I'm filming. However, I really enjoy doing makeup, and this morning I decided I was going to do some light makeup, mostly because my skin was not having a good day. Starting off, I'm using the Tarte Creaseless Concealer. Usually, I wear this underneath foundation to cover up any spots or redness that I have, but today I was using it just by itself. Using one of the Cherry Coat Collection Beauty Blenders from Morphe, I blended this all in. Using the KVD Good Apple Concealer, I use this as a brightening concealer because it's a few shades lighter than my skin tone. Tone and I use this under my eyes. Using the Benefit Brow Pen for my eyebrows, I absolutely love this. It's like one of those multi pens because it has four different options in it and it's such a cute product. Also for my brows, I like to brush them out and then I use a clear brow gel just to set them down. The one I'm using today is from Morphe. I decided I didn't want to do a full glam look today, so the only face product I was going to be using was some blush just to add color to my face. I'm using the Stay Vulnerable Melting Blush from Rare Beauty. I really like this because it's so easy to blend and it's a nice color to use just by itself. A little commotion for the Lucky Charms collection by Morphe. This is their new collection and I got the colored pencils. I absolutely adore colored eyeliner. So today I'm using the blue color. I'm so, so excited. And this is probably going to become one of my favorite products really fast. Even if it's a simple makeup day, winged eyeliner can make or break a makeup look. And I feel like it just adds such a nice pop of color and is really easy to do. These colored pencils were super easy to use. They were a little bit flaky to begin with, but they were easy to blend out so that they looked nice. To finish off the makeup look, I'm not a big eyelash person, however, I do curl my eyelashes and add some mascara. I honestly just grab whatever mascara I find first, so today that was the Big Ego Mascara by Tarte. To finish off the makeup look, I added some lip gloss. This is the Lucky Charms lip gloss from Morphe, and it tastes so good. I know you're not supposed to taste lip gloss, but honestly, the flavor of it, amazing. Because it's not a hair washing day, I did that yesterday, I decided just to brush my hair out. For this, I have a little spray bottle from Kmart, which has a mixture of conditioner and water in it. I use this as a leave-in conditioner slash detangler when I'm brushing out my hair, which makes my hair so nice and smooth and silky. After all my skincare, hair care, you know, all the self-care stuff, I decided to pick out my outfit for the day because I was still technically wearing what I wore to bed. Fit check. So today I decided to wear a blue outfit, obviously to match my eyeliner. So my sweater is from H&M and my skirt is also from H&M, just like a little bit of a matching combo, you know. So to round off my morning, I decided to do some journaling. This is my social media journal and I write down all my content creation ideas and all the things that I'm going to be posting in the upcoming weeks and everything that I've already posted and how well they did. Vlog mode activated. Coming away from that little bit of a like voiceover morning routine, I don't have anything else to do. I will probably just spend the rest of my day watching Grey's Anatomy. Something I didn't mention often in the morning, what I've been doing for the rest of the week is I have been posting a reel onto Instagram and often I like to film some content but I don't actually have anything planned at the moment. I might do that later in the day. I have been trying to post on Instagram more often and all of my social media in general so if you want to go and follow me, all of my social media is at Morgan Monroe to go give your girl a follow. 
and that was my morning routine i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did make sure you subscribe turn away post notifications follow all of my social media which will be in the description box down below and give this video a big thumbs up and i'll see you in my next video